All right, here's a video on uh, the anatomy of a P06 ECU. Um, here's an overall shot. This is the top, and I've got the cover off, as you can see. And I just wanted to show a couple of components here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay. <clears throat> For the main purpose of chipping, uh, this is your biggie right here. This uh, says 27256, and this is where your uh, your replacement memory chip is going to go that's going to allow you to run your own setup. Um, and right here is probably the second biggest component, and that's just kind of like a, I call it a data buffer. This pretty much is what interfaces the circuit board to your chip. Um, a couple other things you have is your connector here. This is going to be used for real-time data logging. And uh, excuse the shake here. I'm going to move this over just a bit. And let's see if I can find it. Um, looking for J12. It is. Uh, where'd it go? I'll come back to it. Oh, here it is. I think it's right. It should be the third one up here. Right here. And this one you need to... Oh, it's not on the camera. Here you go. J12 is right here. And uh, it's like the third component up on from the bottom. Let me zoom in a little bit there. about that guy right there and I don't know if you can see it or not but it's got just a single black band on it what that means is it's like a resistor type component but it just has a wire in it and black represents zero so it has zero ohms and so it's not um, it's just a jumper so this corresponds to the CN2 um, use most people use a four pin header and um, there's five pins there, you just use one through four, the fifth one's not really in use. When you remove that jumper on a lot of software, it needs that jumper gone so that you can get real-time data logging off of the ECU. Um, let me back up a little bit here. Up in this area, you're going to have um, a couple other ones. You're going to have a J1 jumper, and that's going to be used to, when you jumper J1, it will allow you to tell the ECU that you want to run your chip. Um, then we got two capacitors, C51 and C52, and they are ones right here, and the other ones right there, and they're just capacitors to help the circuit buffer a little bit. And then you usually put a resistor on R54, and that's right in this area here. Now, if you look at the silk screening on this, it's actually pretty easy to tell. Um, because all the major work that you're going to have done, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but there's a white box outlining where all the parts are. So if you're going to do this, um, just look for this white border thing, and it, inside there you'll see all the solder points. Anything that's pretty much blank is probably as a player in the game. There's also this resistor pack that's kind of interesting um, that gets into if you want to switch back and forth between an automatic and manual transmission. You've got to play with some jumpers or resistor packs there. I'll show you some other interesting spots on the board. Let's see. <clears throat> Up in this area. I believe this one is... Uh, um, these are kind of like transistor looking things. It says IC14. This one up here um, should be the solenoid for your VTEC. And I believe these two down here have controls for um, automatic. So I believe you need these two in here if you want to, if this was to be an automatic. I use five speed, so I don't need them. And currently my engine doesn't have a VTEC. If I did put a VTEC in there, then I'll have to put this one in. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that one's for. And another interesting one is this guy over here. <coughs> and this is like a my understanding is the atmospheric pressure sensor. And if you, well, let's see if we can get this on camera. Ah, it's probably not going to show up. I'll try, but. Yeah, 
I think you, whoops. You might be able to see it. Probably if I quit moving it around. There's like a little tiny hole cut out in the in that plastic right there. And that's how it can feel the outside pressure and that helps it determine things, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if people realize how much, uh, you know, your pressure really plays a lot on a combustion engine. If you're high to, high, high altitude, you have less oxygen. And if you're at low altitude, you have more oxygen. And uh, the rate of uh, the burning of that, uh, that determines, helps determine as a major component oxygen and when you're burning fuel. And so it is, it's pretty cool that they have that device in there to help them make determinations for that. Um, so, to kind of recap, um, you got your east, uh, your replacement chip, you got your buffer chip, you got your uh, C52 and C51 jumpers, or I'm sorry, capacitors, and the R54 resistor, you got a J1 jumper, which, and then you have your, um, your, uh, J, I believe it says J12 jumper, yeah, J12 jumper, and so that's about it. I've uh, pretty much desoldered everything. I left this last jumper in, um, and I've ordered the parts. So when the parts come in, I'll put them on, show you what it looks like after it gets the parts soldered on.